Talk a little bit about um, today, uh, putting yourself yet again in the position to perhaps uh, have a chance to, to win an event. Yeah, I just I drew some good bulls this weekend, and I knew going into the short round I was going to pick that bull if I had a chance because he's real electric. He, the judges really like him, from what I understand. It's usually pretty easy to ride, but tonight was just an off night. Got a bad go at him and uh, just throwed me off. Got it. I mean, it, and it all started before you even nodded your head when he uh, kind of reared up in uh, in the in the shoots. Yeah. Now a couple weeks ago, you talked about when a judge put you on the clock um, that rattled you. When that happened, were you able to keep your composure, or did uh, was that another lesson learned? Yeah, I was able to keep my composure there because they weren't really going to put me on the clock because they know that bull's bad in the bucket shoots, and he literally threw me out of the bucket shoots. So I don't think they had a problem with it. Right, but but when you get thrown out like that, what do you do to get oh. back to being focused and, and uh, kind of do what needs to be done once you do nod your head? You just got to let it make you mad. You, I mean, you can't take it and let it get to you. You got to make yourself mad about it and want to take it out on that bull. And it feels like it makes me do better when I'm mad. You were, you were definitely mad after the fact. Yeah, I, I was definitely mad after the fact because I knew I let one get away. And coming in first in the short round twice in four weeks and not being able to close the deal. It's kind of starting to get to me, but I know I'll get it done sooner or later. What does it feel like, though, to have a guy like McBride earlier today, before before round two even began, he he kind of he picked you as a guy to watch in round two. He picked you as a guy to have a chance to win an event, and that was the matchup he wanted to see. Oh, yeah, it feels great when McBride talks good about me because he's one of the greats. He's won the world twice. I mean, there's nothing more you can do except – win it more than that, but it feels great with a legend of the sport talks good about me. All right. Thanks for joining us on PBR.com. Yes, sir. Thank you.